Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. As his terrified eyes look up at you, he suddenly realizes, hey, you ain't my mom, and you sure as shit ain't some young stag gonna gently educate the ways of the birds and the bees. And in this way, you two really share a special moment. Terror takes hold of its central nervous system, and you put the creature out of its misery. You ever have deer sushi? A little rice and wasabi and some fine loin meat? All served up on my stepdaughter, just like they do in Asia. I am particularly interested in visiting Asia. I've always been kind to the Asiatic cultures. I've always enjoyed them. Kung fu, martial arts, fucking throwing stars. I'd really love to see Thailand, though. Somebody say ping pong? <laughs> Why did he have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. That's a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. And he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia. She already called Shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. for me, boy. Here, boy. All right, man, you cool. Chop 
Oh, here we go. I will be taking this I... back, no? Oh. 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 Oh, come on. Get inside, chop. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the... You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gotta find him! I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. Hey, what get the hell are you doing? I've gotta get some control of this set. Get him out that of here! Was a oh, oh, oh. What's Brandon doing? Oh my god! This is an abduction! Creepo! Get off 
the wheel. I need to get the fuck out of here. Studio security are shutting your ass down, Blacko. Oh, fuck. We're gonna lose these guys. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? You cool? What's this? Spikes? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think... Yeah, fools! I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Pull the fuck over! Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball! Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Oh, that's what's up! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? Hey! There's a car right here! My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. What happened when I pressed this? If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drama. That's good. The studio has enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing, too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Fuck 
this shit. Oh, Jesus! Man, I'm sorry, oh, fool. Oh, my motherfucker! Dispatch, suspect located. Oh, Jesus! Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, uh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a brush. An army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Uh, okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That! What... Oh! Was bullshit! Right. Right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast. 
Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV! I'm acutely aware of. Don't go over the fort! Circumvent it! Yeah! 
identify yourself and state your intent. This is Captain T in a 1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather.